Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today we're doing an unboxing of Interceptor Ace, Daylight Air Defense over Germany, 1943 to 1944. Um, designed by Gregory Smith and published by Compass Games. Um, I, had, I did do a unboxing of Night Fighter Ace. I did not really dive into that game. I played it a little teeny little bit and then I said, mm, not really for me. Um, not because of the system, just because of the subject matter, um, the night, um, the night bombing of Germany um, doesn't interest me as much as the daylight air, you know, air bombings. Um, obviously, this is from a German perspective, um, you know, air defense of Germany. But I thought it'd be kind of interesting to check this one out. I was able to pick up a copy. It's still a relatively new game and did not come out that long ago. Um, so I'm very interested in checking it out. Uh, solitaire game, and so I think it. Uh, I know Gregory Smith has had many good solitaire games, so I'm very excited to check this one out. So let's go ahead and check out the box here. It's actually pretty heavy. I feel like it was heavier than the Night Fighter Ace box. I'm not sure, but nice, nice big box. Pretty heavy. You can see there's a lot in the game here. Um, Interceptor Ace places you in command in a desperate fight against the Allied bomber fleets. Uh, solitaire tactical level game which places you in command of a German fighter during World War II. So in this game, you're in command of one fighter, not you know, not a squadron, um, not a bunch of them. It's just you're you know you're in charge of one fighter. So kind of like when you look at you know the sub games, right? Where the hunters, um, the hunted, where you're in, you know you manage one sub, you're managing one fighter in these games. So um, each turn consists of several days during which a command combat mission will be flown from one of the many bases in Europe, attempting to intercept incoming American bombers. All right, complexity medium, number of players, one. Well, one or more, best with one, suitable for solitaire, very high. Um, all right, cool. Uh, average play time, two to three hours. So, all right, you can see what's on the back here. Let's go ahead and dive in, okay? Open her up. Oh, the, the cutting of the shrink wrap, the most exciting part of any unboxing, right, guys? All right. Get the shrink off here. Throw that out of here. All right. So what do we have here? Open her up. It comes with a bunch of dice, looks like. There's the usual D6. There is a 10-sided, so a 6-sided die, a couple of those, a 10-sided, and a 20-sided. Interesting. All right, very cool. We have our cards, which I know that um, based on from Night Fighter Ace again, I only played it. I mean, I think twice. I just, I just wasn't feeling it. You know, it happens. It's all right. Nothing wrong with the game. Nothing wrong with the system. Just wasn't feeling it. Um, I know it's uh, some things are card based. Clearly, it comes with four dice, so there's clearly um, dice are involved to a big degree. But I know that cards are also important. So, Ace Pilot combat cards. So. If you ace pilot, let's look at those first. All right, so yep, so aces, actual historical aces. I know you, so you can play the game as you know either a guy you create or as a historical ace. Hundred ninety-two kills. Wow. All right, that's that's almost unbelievable. Hundred ninety-two. Hmm, I have to research that guy, Anton Hackel. Hmm, all right. Um, so those are the ace cards. And then for the combat, um, I know with the combat, you know, when you're drawing cards, comparing um, firepower hits, attack with defense, defensive fire, two hits, defensive fire, two hits, three hits, etc. cetera. So um, I'm not going to dive into it because, well, frankly, I'm not an expert on the system. I haven't played it enough yet. All right, what do we got here? Okay, yep, this is a, a rata sheet for Night Fighter Ace. That's so kind of cool that they include that. So if you do have Night Fighter, um, I'm sure all of it's on Board Game Geek or something. But hey, if you just happen to own the game and you know you don't have Board Game Geek, then uh, a rata comes with it. Cool. All right, rules of play. Nice looking rule book. I expect this out of Compass at this point. Compass Games. They release fantastic component games, fantastic looking, good rule books. Yep, lots of cuts in color, color pictures and examples all over the place. Game setup, combat, examples, all kinds of examples. Yep, just what I expect. I mean, I'm not trying to look at, you know, not appreciate it because I think it's it should be noted that they do really well with their rule books, uh, in my opinion. 
looks like a total of 20 pages or so of actual rules, some optional rules, 20 and 21. So 20 pages of rules, okay. Sounds like about right for a game like this. A lot of it's because it's solitaire, it's likely to be very procedural. So even though you may look at 20 pages of rules as complex, I, I imagine it's probably not overly complex. All right, we have some card sack here, P1 position chart. So clearly, um, as you're approaching, right, the bombers, um, damage modifiers by approach. Okay, so you have this all set up on your board here. Some more card stock here. Gonna be, okay, yep, the operations map. So this is more the, you know, obviously the big picture type thing. We have a sequence of play. Gonna burst some different charts on here. Combat cards, discard pile. Um, then you have your different bases um, of where you'd be uh, where you'd be placed. So stationed out of, I should say. Very nice, and should be a whole bunch of the um, bomber cards. No, I'm sorry, fighter cards, bomber cards. So BF one ten ME. 410A, so it's you, it's, it's a start, start, it goes more in depth than I'm used to, like I don't, I don't know what a ME, I mean Measure Schmidt, 410A-1 slash U2, what exactly that means, um, but um, yeah, it's in there, so if you like that kind of stuff, you like to go that in depth, dude, you got it, you're covered, bro, all right, BF109, G-6 slash R6, cool, I understand that's the type of fighter. I just don't, you know, I don't know offhand that in depth. I know what a BF 109 is. I do not know um, that in depth on what the G6 R6 is. So, but I know that um, on the individual aircraft, so this would be your individual aircraft. Um, Going to tell you, you know, okay, so available at start has a certain speed, prestige level, what bases if you're taking off from, how far it can go, um, and make interceptions. It's weapons it has, your skill usage. Pilot status, damage, wingman status. So it's got lots of stuff on here, but I like the artwork. I like the layout. It looks very clear, very easy to tell um, what you're going to be doing here. So I don't want to spend forever on, you know, we don't need to go through each aircraft. There's a ton of them though. So if you're wondering about aircraft, yeah, there's a whole ton of options here. A lot of, a lot of cardboard here to go through, which most people love. Me included. All right, here we have a big old... All right, interceptor ace sortie log sheet. Big ol' thing here. So tons of them. So, and as expected, it'll be, you know, hey, what's your type, your pilot, um, raid target, aircraft target, kills sorties, you know, March, 40, March of you know, 1943, April of 43, May, et cetera, et cetera. So, does it go around the other side? Is that what it is? Yep. So then the other side would be the, you know, September 43 down to February of 44. So, all right, and then we have pilot and crew status here. Optional ace card, have different ranks, prestige level, skills, crewman points. Let's keep track of your personal fighter pilot. Uh, bomber target chart, okay. Let's see, different areas of, so B-17s, B-24s, different areas of the bomber, wing, airframe control, surfaces, fuel tanks. Hmm. Lots of stuff. Fighter chart. So no, you can be, um, obviously you're trying to intercept the bombers, but there's going to be, at a certain point there's going to be escorts. P-38, P-47, P-51, Mustang, Spitfire. Very cool. Raid chart. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh I see. So which, depending on which month and year, um, it's going to tell you, you know, it looks like where the raid's going to be. And then aircraft target chart, tell you maybe what aircraft's going to be. Looks like something like that. Cool. Interception, sequence of play, bomber and group damage. So lots of charts, lots of player aids with the game. That's good. Good quality. You know, not overly thick. It's not, you know, heavy, heavy, but it is it's nice card stock. I mean it's not it's not like that stiff card, you know what I mean? Where it's almost like a board. It's just, you know, nice card stock. Aircraft damage listings, double replacement aircraft. So lots of charts. Um, lots of cardboard to go through. And we have one counter sheet here. 
it's like fairly standard here. Um, you're gonna have the different aircraft counters you can see up here. You know, Fock Wolf 190, um, stuff like that. BF 109, B 17, B 24, the Spitfire. Your wingman, um, weather, range, raid target, gunning, gun jam, damage, ammo, keeping track of ammo, skill levels, ranking. So, like the artwork, um, definitely looks, reminds me of Night Fighter Ace. Very cool. Um, yep, double sided. Reasonable thickness, um, not overly thick. These are not, uh, they're not, you know, pre rounded, super thick counters, but I like them. They look good. I imagine they probably punch out all right. Let's see here. Okay, yep, so they're gonna punch out fine. I'm not gonna take them out right now, but yeah, they look like they'll punch out fine. All right, that is Interceptor Ace. So, looks pretty good. Um, I'm definitely interested in trying it out. I always love a good solitaire game, right? So, we have nice big operations. It starts with operations and you drill down to your individual aircraft making attack runs on bombers and fighting off, uh, Fighting off escorts. Very cool. All right. That was Interceptor Ace. Um, designed by Gregory Smith. Published by Compass Games. Hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to dive into the game soon. All right. Take care, everyone.